Hello, Henry from Belgium here. I found something really cool at the flea market. Lego set 6260 from 1989. So keep watching the video. I remember that when I was 9 years old, I had hours of fun with this set. So I actually bought it like a piece of nostalgia. Unfortunately, it has no original box. But for the cheap purchase price of 15 euros, I couldn't pass this up. The original manual is included, and the set has a lot of nice parts. So definitely worth making a video about this. First some background information. The name of the set is Shipwreck Island. Also known as Pirate's Treasure Island. It has the theme pirates. The set consists of 71 parts and two minifigs. Everything is here on the table and I suggest I build the set from scratch. Very nice is that I have the original manual with it, also one of the reasons I couldn't pass it up, because a manual in a good condition is hard to find. 8 pages in a handy format, with a nice layout in the pirate theme. There are also some alternative builds at the back. Let's start. First and foremost, the colorful baseplate. Baseplate 16x16 with island on blue water pattern. This baseplate appears only in one other set, namely set 6265 Saber Island. So a valuable baseplate. You actually build a cave in which a treasure can be hidden and next to it a place where a cannon can be placed. It is one of the smaller sets in the series, so the building part is quite limited, but the beautiful parts make up for it. And for 8-year-olds, of course, also the great fun with the beautiful parts and minifigs. It is a set and theme that appeals to the imagination. In addition to the baseplate, there are many other beautiful elements, like the palm tree. More recent models are made with LEGO Technic parts, but I personally don't like that. This is for me the one and only. Old school. Also two animals, a parrot and a monkey. The eye-catcher of this set is undoubtedly the cannon that can fire real cannonballs. There is a spring mechanism to shoot the six cannonballs. Apparently in some countries, LEGO has released other versions of the cannon that can't really shoot, because it would be too dangerous for children. There are also two minifigs, one with two weapons, the other with a small bathtub. And finally two flags and of course a treasure with eight gold coins. Because we started with two yellow bricks, the box can slide into place more easily. As said, a lot of cool parts for hours of fun. The only thing that bothers me personally is that the treasure isn't completely camouflaged. In my opinion, the designers could easily provide two extra bricks and two extra leaves, so that the treasure would be less visible at the front and at the back. But that's the only downside and my personal opinion. Otherwise, a beautiful set. Small, but big in the parts that come with it. That is why this set deserves a place in my collection. Feel free to write down your comments under this video. You can also like and subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching and until the next video.